morning, I'm Lisa Sabaniak from Life Like You Mean It. And today we're going to talk about the differences between divine feminine and divine masculine energy. This video is in three parts. First, we're going to have a very quick look at why we need balance between feminine and masculine energy. Second, we're going to look at several qualities of feminine energy. And third, we will look at several qualities of masculine energy. So let's get started. So part one, why is creating balance between our masculine and our feminine energies really important? And the answer to this is really quick and simple, really. It's that it creates us, right? It creates balance within us. Both males and females have both feminine and masculine energy. For example, our masculine side of us is the doer, whereas the feminine side of us is the beer. We have doing and being, giving and receiving. Right? This creates harmony when, within us when we can understand the importance of both sides and allow ourselves to cultivate the qualities of each. So let's have a look at what the qualities of both divine feminine and divine masculine really are. So part two, the qualities of the feminine aspect of your energy are intuition, being heart-centered and compassionate. It's also being wise as well as being accepting and forgiving. It also is the ability to be collaborative and also reflective. As you can see, all of these feminine qualities of energy are really quite important, as will be the masculine that we'll speak of next. And so it's really vital for somebody, whether they are male or female, to be able to be compassionate, to be able to have self-reflection, right? to be able to be, be in a state of being. Now, part three, taking a quick look at our qualities of masculine energy, they are not just simply the opposites of feminine energy. Yes, well, feminine is being, the masculine is doing, but the masculine energy is also risk-taking. The masculine side is being action-oriented, assertive, as well as showing discipline, having strong boundaries in place, as well as being confident. So side note here, I talked really briefly about having strong boundaries with masculine energy. And I do have a video about that, asking you, is it time to set boundaries and giving you some really clear guidance on how to go about doing that. So you can check that out by clicking this card here or by checking out the link in the description. Masculine energy is objectivity, as well as logic and analysis. So hopefully you can see here that these qualities of masculine energy are also just as important as those aspects of female energy. So whether you are male or female, you are going to benefit from being able to be logical and assertive with clear boundaries at times and take action while also being compassionate, right? Reflective, coming from a heart-centered place, following your intuition. Both of these qualities really create harmony and balance within. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so that you never miss another opportunity to see another video. I will be sharing lots more on both divine feminine and divine masculine energy. So this is the place to be. Mm -hmm.